Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about perimeter and area of irregular figures. So an irregular figure is when you have two regular figures combined into one, like I do here, okay? So if you notice, I actually have two rectangles that are combined into one that make a, a figure that looks like a letter L, okay? So we're going to review the perimeter. So remember that the perimeter is the outside, okay? So if you um, look at the word perimeter, you can see the word rim, which is the outside of the figure, okay? So we're going to highlight the outside. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20. So my perimeter would be equal to 20, okay? Now you can also count each side. So for example, here I have two, here I have three, here I have three again, here I have two, here I have five, and here I have five. And once you have all your numbers, you can also add them. So five plus five plus three plus three plus two plus two should add up to 20 also. Okay, now we're going to be talking about area. Okay, and area is the inside of your irregular figure. So you can count all the cubes that are inside. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So the area would be equal to sixteen units. Okay, and that's how you would find perimeter and area. Now, let's try an example where they don't give you all the squares that are on the inside. So, first, let's start with perimeter again. If we know that this section is equal to six, then the opposite section should also be equal to six. So this plus this should equal to six. So if I have four, I need two more, so the two would go here, okay? Then on this side, I know that this side is equal to nine, which means that this three plus this has to equal nine as well. So if I have nine as my total, then three plus six more would give me nine. Six plus three is nine, okay? 
now that I have all of my numbers, I'm able to find the perimeter. Now remember that perimeter is all of the numbers on the outside, the rim, okay? Think of the word rim, okay? So we need to add nine plus six plus six plus two plus three plus four. Okay. All right, so six plus four is 10, plus nine is 19, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, plus six more is 30. So the perimeter would equal to 30 centimeters, okay? Now to find area, okay, to find area, we're gonna have to cut this into two pieces. So if I cut this in half, now I have two regular shapes. I have a small rectangle up here, and I have a bigger square. And how do I know that this is a square? Because this is six, and this is six, and squares have equal sides. So I can multiply six times six and get 36 centimeters squared. And then up here, I can multiply four times three and get 12 centimeters squared. Then I would have to combine that. So 12 plus 36 would equal 48 centimeters squared. And that would be the area of the total shape, okay? Now let's try some word problems. Mr. Kendall is making a model house. The footprint for the house is shown at the right. What is the total area? Explain your, how you find your answer. Okay, so again, we're only looking for area this time. So first I need to fill in the numbers that are missing. So if this is nine on this side, then this also has to be nine on the opposite side. Okay, now I'm going to section off this rectangle here. Okay, that's one rectangle. Now, I'm going to be able to multiply twenty four times nine so nine times four is. 36, that's 18, 21. Okay, now we're gonna do the square down here at the bottom. Okay, so here we have to multiply 
8 times 8 is 64 inches squared. And finally, we add Two hundred and sixteen plus sixty four. And this would be the total area of the entire house. For the next one, says, Jared drew the figure to the right on one inch grid paper. What is the area of the figure? Okay, for this one, it's a little bit easier because we're able to section off two separate pieces. Okay, now I'm gonna count this one. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four. So I have twenty four inches here. Now, let's try the other side. This right here. Don't forget about this one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is nine inches. And finally, we add 24 plus nine. is 33 inches squared. That's it.